Well, it's a little cooler today, but the next disturbance already arrives Friday, bringing some showers, but kicking out this unsettled pattern that we've had much of the week. Temperatures could soar to 80 degrees for Mother's Day. So the latest drought monitor shows some big improvement from a week ago. No longer do we have severe drought in the state. 11% of the state, mostly in northwestern or central Minnesota, uh, was in severe drought. Now that is gone. Uh, thanks to widespread rainfall again this week, heaviest in southern Minnesota, where we had two to four inches over the past seven days. It remains lighter, though. Over those areas that remain in drought, Cass Lake, Bemidji, up through uh, Roseau. But you can see some pretty big changes. The areas that were severe drought last week are now mostly in moderate drought. That's all that's left of the drought, except for the southernmost counties of Fillmore and Mauer counties. But most of central Minnesota, including all the Twin Cities, no longer considered even abnormally dry here. So good news. Little cooler today, mid to upper 60s, close to 70 in western Minnesota. The patchy clouds and some slightly cooler air mass overhead keeping things closer to normal, though. Uh, just a couple degrees below the average, above normal still up in the northwestern part of the state. And as I mentioned, we've had these patchy clouds kind of lingering here across southeastern Minnesota. The Twin Cities sort of on the northwestern edge of that uh, cloud cover, and that will continue to diminish. But brighter skies, of course, across nor northern and western Minnesota with some warmer temperatures there too. But, you know, we've had this upper level low that's created severe weather to the south, unsettled weather for us. It's now become an elongated trough all the way into California up through the Great Lakes. So bizarre looking pattern, but it's finally going to be moving out of here. This next clipper system coming in out of Canada tomorrow is going to kick this out finally get the atmosphere really kind of moving again. Doesn't mean it's gonna completely dry out, but we're not gonna see this lingering system that we've had much of the week. So here comes that clipper tomorrow, spotty showers, couple thunderstorms in the afternoon, and then another clipper, mostly to the north on Sunday, but it could touch off a couple isolated thunderstorms here in Southern Minnesota and Eastern Minnesota for Mother's Day. They'll be pretty few and far between. And tomorrow's activity, pretty spotty too. Uh, and generated by some of that daytime heating. Saturday looks dry, fishing opener looks pretty nice for us. Highs tomorrow back in the low 70s across southern and western Minnesota, 50s and 60s in the northeast, and then Saturday, very similar temperatures. But ahead of this uh, next clipper to our north on Sunday, we're gonna get a little surge of warm air here Sunday. It's gonna push temperatures up into the low to maybe middle 80s here for southern and western Minnesota. Look at these Mother's Day high temperatures. Uh, warmest Mother's Day probably in a while around here. Low to mid 80s, 70s all the way up to the north. But that is a weak cool front that will touch off a couple of those showers Sunday afternoon. They will be very isolated though, Sunday afternoon into evening. So go ahead with outdoor brunch plans maybe, but just be aware you might have one or two showers to dodge. But overall, warmer pattern here. Uh, mostly in the 70s with that one day in the 80s here Sunday. Next chance of some showers and thunderstorms after the weekend will start to develop here. It looks like mostly Tuesday night into Wednesday, uh, kind of stormy potentially again for the middle of the next week.